Hey, everybody, this is episode 201 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. I want to thank you for tuning in. Before I go any further, if this is your first time with the show, this is not an episode you're going to want to check out. Everything we're going to talk about today is a reflection on episode 200, as well as talking about where the show will be headed next. So if you haven't spent time with this show before, you're probably not going to enjoy what we're going to talk about. I would suggest you go back, listen to a few episodes, maybe listen to the three-hour episode 200 live streamed extravaganza that we did just a couple days ago, at least a couple days ago as of the recording here. I don't know when you're listening. And that will give you some sense as to this show, how we're doing it, why we're doing it, and all that. I want to thank everyone that tuned in, whether it was for part of the time or just a little bit of the time, whether you listened to it later, watched it later, watched it live, you know, whatever it was, Clearly, episode 200 was a very different episode, and it was really important to me because it gave me the opportunity to engage with the audience in a way that I haven't done before. I really want to thank Sean and Kimberly and Daniel for coming by, for coming to headquarters, which you've probably figured out by now, is my home. We've outgrown the home in with, with all the operations. I mean, there are things that go on outside of my physical home. There are things that go on outside of the state and honestly outside of the country at this point. But this is still where I am day to day. So to bring in people that are supportive of the show and and are my friends to participate, to run the boards, to do all this stuff that they did really meant a lot to me. We spent a lot of time reflecting on where the show has been. And I think the, the irony of the audio issues early on really just is kind of a throwback to the first several dozen episodes where I was using a $25 Logitech headset. The microphone I'm coming to you from now cost almost as much as my first car. And hopefully you see the audio quality. See here, the difference in the audio quality. I'm going to ramble. This is not going to be a, a polished episode because I want to be genuine. I want to be authentic with it and just kind of go. I'm not going to edit anything other than silence, maybe, or who knows if the phone rings. It was important to me to to really just reflect. And since Monday night, I'm recording this Wednesday morning, I've been reflecting on Monday night. I am not someone who typically plays a foreground role. I'm used to being in the background. And Honestly, throughout my career, I've been someone who has been in the background and knocked it out of the park. That's been my plan. You give me something to do, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it the best I can. Well, here, I'm in front of the camera. I'm in front of the microphone. So I've had to reconcile my desire to be in the background with my desire to knock it out of the park. And hopefully, you're hearing me progress as we get through that. We're talking about martial arts, so it seems really appropriate that we're talking about me on my path as it relates to martial arts, you know, maybe it's a sidestep a bit. Hey, there's a martial arts analogy for you. As I develop my skills in interviewing folks, in talking about martial arts subjects, I went back through and on the Facebook live post that people were watching from, there were like 118 comments. And I read through almost all of them. And it was Great to see that some of you were engaging with each other talking about that show. That that really that meant so much to me. The goal here is not to create a show where I'm, you know, this figurehead or to create this business where I am important and people need to do what I say. I, I've never been comfortable with that. I, I prefer to see people as peers and we all have our own roles to play to move things forward. My role in moving whistle kick forward is to be on the microphone and talking to people and building relationships and engaging with all of you. And I love that part of my job. And I hope it doesn't come across that what I do is more important than anyone else, because I genuinely do not see it as that way. And it never will be, I will probably be the CEO until there's somebody better that I can put in that spot. There are a lot of people that would be better in this chair, so to speak, maybe not with the recording at this point, but running this company and when we can afford one of them, they absolutely will be there. There are other things that I should be doing more in the background, more around 
developing products and such. That's my strength. Over the next 200 episodes, you're going to see a lot of changes at Whistlekick. I believe I mentioned on the show, there is now someone full-time responsible for podcasts, not the part that I do, the speaking part, but pretty much everything else, generating the graphics, editing, transcribing, posting it. And that's going to allow me to throw myself into other things, such as the other content stuff that we've hinted at. You know, I talked about that a little bit on on the live show that I do want to develop some other content. We're trying to offer up as much great stuff for people that are passionate about martial arts as possible, whether that's training equipment or casual apparel or podcasts, videos, books. You know, there, there are, there's another book I'm trying to get out of the way that has nothing to do with martial arts. So I can focus on the next book, which does relate to martial arts. I'm kind of alternating back and forth between business books and martial arts books. I like writing and I believe we can help move the industry forward by putting out this information, whether it's recreational information, kind of the podcast, or whether it's, you know, a book or, or other how-to kind of stuff. The fact that the show has made it 200 episodes says something. And and I'll let you form your own opinions about what it says about me, other than it's been working and I enjoy doing it, so I'm going to keep doing it. But in terms of guests and the fact that it's far easier to get guests now than it was at the beginning. The quality of the show has gone up. There are far more listeners now than there were. In fact, I'm not going to put out numbers, but if you were to look at a chart of the downloads, the first year was almost flat. It was depressing. And then all of a sudden we hit year two and it just started to skyrocket. And there was nothing different that happened there. That's not when the audio got better. That's not when, you know, suddenly I had some big guest on. It was just all of a sudden people decided, okay, this has been around a while. I trust it. And maybe there's a correlation between that and the way we look at martial arts. People don't generally look at a brand new martial art with a lot of credibility. Maybe the show just needed its time to develop that track record for people to say, oh, okay, well, they've been doing this for a year. I'll check it out. <laughs> As you might imagine, I'm still exhausted. I didn't get to bed till midnight on Monday and had to get up early for some work-related things. And I, I slogged through the day. I took a nap. I don't usually get to take naps. I love naps. Took a nap. <laughs> uh, and then got home from the gym last night and the power had gone out. We had this crazy storm with a bunch of hail. Oh, excuse me. I'm still tired. Can you tell? Mm. And I had this crazy storm and the power went out. So I just, I sat and I watched about the first half of Napoleon Dynamite and said, you know what? I'm going to bed. I put my phone on mute and plugged it into a, an external battery or put it on airplane mode, not mute, because I use it as an alarm. Clearly I need another night, good night's sleep. And that's what I got last night. I, I felt like I slept reasonably well. Even the cat let me sleep. So this is just kind of an extension of thank you. Thank you to everyone, whether or not you watched on Monday, whether or not you make it through the three hours that were posted a couple days later. Just thank you. I consider myself a servant to the martial arts community because of how much has come out of it for me. My best friends, my greatest mentors, my body the way I think and approach the world all came from martial arts. So if there are things I can do to help you, to help your family, to help your school, to help people that matter to you, I'll do them if I can. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be throwing money around because you know what? It's all invested in whistle kick right now. I, I have very little money for myself. I take very little money for myself. Whistle kick is, is doing very well, but we're growing and that growth, if you've ever been in business for yourself, requires constant reinvestment. I'm going to stop chatting now because I feel like I've said what I needed to say. We've got great episodes coming up, this kind of 200, 201, even 199. We're a bit of a break from the norm because this was so important to me. Hopefully you accepted that indulgence on my part. 
but we've got episode as of right now let's see I, we just put episode 210 to bed and 212 is in process and i think i just conducted 214 yesterday so there, there's a ton of great content coming up let me know how we can make it better how can whistle kick and whistle kick martial arts radio be more of what you want until next time train hard smile and have a great day